All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. Here we have today's little lesson on metronome. You probably already know some of these things, but this might be fun if you don't know them. So everybody knows how to use a metronome, right? Let's turn on the metronome. One, two, three, four. Wow, this one has a count. You know, you just play along to the metronome. Everybody does this, right? But what we want to talk about is using, yes, yeah, stop it for a moment, using the metronome in a different way because a lot of times the metronome can become a crutch. You know what a crutch is? A crutch, you know, to help you along. Like a, you know, if you have a bad leg, you have to use a crutch. And so when you're playing with a metronome, you turn off your internal time. And what we want to do is use the metronome to help us to have better internal time. So when we don't use the metronome, we still have, we know exactly where that time is, right? So, one way to do this is, and I, I didn't come up with this, many people do this. Uh, let's start with, for instance, instead of the metronome being on the downbeats, let's use the metronome being on the upbeats. So, for instance, turn on the metronome. One, two, three, four. Here's the downbeat, right? Let's change it so we're hearing the metronome on the upbeat. Ready? Right? So the metronome is on the upbeat. See? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Right? And go through all your all your exercises. Then, okay, so let's stop that. So you get used to that and it starts to All of a sudden the metronome is helping you to feel where that downbeat is instead of being Kong Kong, here is the downbeat. It's more like somebody playing shaker or somebody playing cowbell, right? Another way you can do it is by putting the metronome on a triplet grid. So triplets being one and a two and a three and a four, right? So the, now we're going to use the metronome as one, a two, a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. And that's really helpful for doing your triplet. One, two, a three, and a four. Because a lot of times when we use the metronome, one and a two and a three and a and we kind of lose those in-between notes. One and up, 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 up. And that's really important when you're going to be doing like shuffles. One and up, 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 To really feel those inside beats. So let's try this. We're going to put the metronome One, two, on three, the four. A of the triplet. Can you feel it? Here we have straight. Now. Right. And this is really good because once you start hearing it, you can really lock in those shuffles much better. Right? 
So do all your different exercises with this as well. Singles, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, and then play across like do your paradiddles. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two. Whoa, see? It's really hard. You gotta you gotta keep that in and then you, you get better and then you feel that. So there's two different ways that you can use your metronome. If you've never heard of that before, you're welcome. If you've heard of that before, go practice it. We'll see you next time.